Hi, this is Bebe Song, host and producer of SC Nova. I am here at InterSolar North America, an international solar industry trade show and convention at the Moscone Center in San Francisco. The event is organized by Solar Promotion International and Freiburg Management and Marketing International, both based in Germany. European and Chinese manufacturers dominate the 444 exhibitors here, but there is also a crop of emerging American companies from distributors to innovators. They are all betting that after a late start, the US is finally about to become a major solar market in the world. In this episode, I'm going to show you a snapshot of the exhibiting companies here. Instead of looking for brands I already know, I decide to take a random walk on the exhibit floor to see what I can learn about the solar supply chain and what products and services are being offered. FlexLink is a global company, 26 countries around the world, and we specialize in production logistics. We think about, okay, all the equipment that you're using. Is a, is a piece of equipment downstream or upstream running at a different cycle time? but we don't want those machines going down, so we're going to process it there. The other thing we do, you don't need to have a dedicated line for each process you're doing. We can take that and use it. The other thing is the technology is changing so fast. Six months from now, what they're producing here is going to be completely different. You can reconfigure all this. You can do it. The other thing is you can take an existing facility and double, triple the productivity without investing in a lot of infrastructure because of how flexible this machinery is. We are producing a broad range of crystal growing systems. Here you see one model of our mono uh, monopolars uh, where we pull monocrystalline ingots out of it. What makes yeah. it special? Is there something special between solar versus semiconductor yes. that needs to be done? Semiconductor has a higher uh, uh, specifications regarding quality, purification, right. and so on. And, um, Solar is not so high in specifications, okay. so it's a, generally a cheaper system right. with lower demand, uh, lower specifications. Nimbo Solar Electric Power Co. Limited actually is the oldest uh, um, solar power manufacturers. We have more than 40 years history. We are professionally make the solar ingot way for sales at the solar panels. Our main marketing now is um, in the European Union. You know? Now the United States marketing is just a start, so we want to get the good share here. Chiramax, simplifying PV tracking systems, low cost PV tracking systems. Okay, can you educate us, uh, what is PV tracking system? Tracking system is just the way that we make our panels follow the sand, track the sand, okay, to improve the incomes of the plant, power plant. Our main projects are all in Spain. We are now developing other projects in Italy and Bulgaria. And our objective with this fair is just feel the market and trying to look for some partners that can hold our hand and take us to lead us to the American adventure, no? Yeah, American adventure. Yeah. Uh, there are some tracking system companies here in the US too. Uh, how do you how do you plan to compete with them? Price. Yeah. Price? Yes, I would say price. We're reducing all the cost. Uh, our company, for example, runs with one motor for each tracking system. We can, with only one engine, one small engine, move 60 trackers, 100 kilowatts. Our tracking systems are smaller. Uh, we need less people to maintain the plant. They would suffer less. It's like a bit of everything. Reducing a bit of everything, we reduce a big part of the cost. Isint is the manufacturer, and we are the uh, exclusive importer to the U.S. Okay, so what is Isint? Isint is a company that's been in business for 26 years, building uh, solar hot water systems. They specialize in the thermal siphon, which is what we have uh, certified through SRCC. They both have a 170 liter and a 300 liter system that's certified at this point. So this is for residential use? Residential, residential use. like commercial, but it can be expanded to uh, larger commercial systems as well. Okay. Uh, is it in the market yet? It is in the market. We've had a few systems installed now. We are presently installing several systems on some fire stations locally uh, and using those for our training purposes as well. IBVOC is a German-based or German-headquartered uh, company mainly in the field of uh, factory design and engineering which does also include the whole pre-services which is the consulting site selection uh, equipment selection procurement su uh, support for equipment 
as well as time and cost uh, scheduling, which will then end up in the business plan. The next phase would be concept design for the fab, the design and realization. And after handover to the customer, we also provide value added, or I think here it's more common as after sales support, meaning that especially for the ramp up phase, we support in uh, labor. So mainly timely limited for the ramp up phase, we support in process optimization, we support in uh, logistics until we reach all the agreed upon uh, performances like yield, throughput, etc. And we really grew up with Kucells, that was the first customer, then customers like uh, Sontor, which is thin film, then customers like Sunfilm, which is also thin film, CSG Solar, uh, Sovello, and yeah, those are the main, main customers. So, so far we built up to 1.2 gigawatt of uh, manufacturing uh, capacity all over Europe. Uh, have you had uh, American customer, yes, customers? Yes. Uh, we are in touch with quite a few, but so far there are, let's say, no signed contracts for fabs in the US, but we are in a good mood and we believe that within the next uh, six to 12 months, the first bigger fabs will be built in the US. So we, we develop a hardware and software to improve uh, uh, the efficiency of the systems and we address uh, different uh, market segments of the solar industry. Uh -huh. uh, it's applicable for uh, uh, residential applications, commercial and also utility scale applications. Uh, how much does it improve the system? It depends on the application. If it's a residential application, it can improve up to 20%, 20% improvement. And if it's a commercial installation, good installation, it can be around 5, 6 or 7% more energy. Okay. And we think that even though there is downturn in, you know, in the market or in the economy, we still provide a lot of value to many of the players in the market. That's the reason it's so important for them. I think for any startup company to scale up the business, that's basically the critical issue. I think uh, most of the companies can uh, deal with the technology, the development, but scaling up and making, transferring the company from being a startup into a large scale, that's basically the key uh, issue. So scaling up depends on what? Depends on the ability to basically sell thousands, hundreds of thousands, millions of components in short time.